Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer. We are back with another episode of City Zoo. And in this episode, we're going to build two buildings in any way. <laughs> it's called the Twin Buildings, and it's really a lot inspired by Rotterdam Zoo. I think many of the Dutch people can recognize this building from Rotterdam Zoo itself. Uh, we also called Blydorp. And this is also the last building we're going to use in our city zoo of Rotterdam Zoo. So don't worry too much that we're going to do more of Rotterdam Zoo. But I really had this building also on my list and I just really wanted to start it. So here we are building the first of the two twin buildings of Blydorp Rotterdam Zoo. And this particular side we are building on is actually the new habitat of the lions. Well, this is supposed to be the new habitat in the real Rotterdam Zoo of the lions. Like we also did the predator building also inspired by Rotterdam Zoo. And back in the days when I was younger, when I went there, the lions were in that specific building that we also have in the city zoo. But... Uh, yeah, this could basically mean that we could have a bigger habitat now for the lions, but we could also decide to have a completely different animal on this side. So yeah, I actually was wondering what you guys think we should do. Should we add the lions in this twin building or should we add a different animal in here? We could also decide to add the cheetah, for example, in this building. Since this is also going to be the entrance of the African Safari ride, uh, which I will get back to in a little bit. Uh, so, but on the other side of the building, there is supposed to be a restaurant. Now in Blyder Rotterdam Zoo, they have like a super modern restaurant. Inside there, I'm, I'm guessing it's already been renovated a few times. So I have never seen it being super modern like that. So I was really surprised when I saw some pictures. So I will link a, a picture down below of the two different sections. One of the lion habitat to give you an idea and one of the restaurant to give you guys an idea of how this whole building is looking. Uh, it's a really interesting building. It's like a very typical architecture style, but I do really like it. This is all designed by the same architect like the other buildings we did in City Zoo. So that is quite interesting that the same architect designed all these buildings for the same zoo. I really like that. It's a very typical style. You can't really say that it's like a typical Dutch style. I don't really think so. But it also reminds me a tiny little bit of a style you could see in the Efteling, which is like a theme park uh, and a different part in the Netherlands. I don't know why. I think it's because of the roof. Uh, but other than that, I would not really say like, oh yeah, this is a typical Dutch shoe or anything. But I just wanted to point out that it just really love this special type of architecture. You may love it or you probably hate it. Um, either way, I just really like it to have these type of special buildings in our city zoo, in Planet Zoo. So I hope you guys also really like it. So in between the two buildings, so I'm just going to call it a lion habitat for now, but maybe we will change it in the next episode once we're going to add the animal. I'm, I'm really curious to read all your comments and suggestions of what kind of animal we could add in here. But in between the two buildings, you have like this big terrace. Uh, so with a lot of picnic benches or at least tables and chairs in real life. So I'm going to call it picnic benches because I already added them. And of course, a lot of canopies to really have a big chilling area right next to the lion habitat. And in the middle section, you the, the both the buildings are kind of connected with some kind of... Monor yeah, I, I keep calling it like a monorail track, but it's definitely not a monorail track, but it looks like it. And the two buildings are connected with this type of monorail track. I will just call it that way, even though it's not a monorail track, okay? <laughs> and uh, in between or in the middle, you have, I think they call it an Asian gate or anything like that. So in real life, you have like this path going to the Asian area, I'm guessing. Uh, but I want to use that for the entrance of our African safari ride. So that is going to be super cool. 
we're gonna have a queue line starting right in the middle of that monorail track thing uh, which goes behind the buildings and there you will have the start of the safari ride but we're not gonna start the safari ride anytime soon so just so you guys know uh, but there is still a plan to add the safari ride but not I'm not gonna do that anytime soon so as you can tell the building above the windows has like this curve uh, yeah, curved area, but I didn't really like the curve too much, so I did change it in a later stage. And the same goes for the roof tiles. Uh, at first, I built the roof with like just the uh, normal in-game roofs, and I just really didn't like the shape of it because it's like a more curved roof also in real life, so I really wanted to get that kind of curve in. So yeah, in the end, I redid the whole roof with only bamboo pieces that you can recolor from the South America pack to really create that type of roof we're going for. Because the roof also has to go in some kind of, a little bit of a curve too. So there is a lot of curves and a lot of circles coming back into this whole build. But both the buildings, well, the building is duplicated, so it's the same exact building. But both buildings are a little bit in a little curve. Also, if you remember what we did with the, what was it, the bungo habitat was also, the stables was also a little bit in a curve. So that is like the same curve, but I will obviously show you guys around at the end of this video to uh, show what we have so far. It's not going to be a super long tour or anything, but I'm, I'm going to show you guys what the plans are a little bit more at the end. But yeah, the builders are in some kind of curve, but we have a lot of curvy and round shapes, as I just mentioned. So that's just really, really cool. I really love how this one is looking so far and we haven't even finished it yet. So yeah, we did redid the curve above the glassy walls. We did redid the curve, uh, the curvy roof towels. And also, uh, yeah, we finished off the building in the end and to make it like another curve. Now the doorways are different from the original buildings, like the doorways also have some kind of round entrance and I think regarding, I think it comes down because of the scale of this whole building that I don't really feel like creating that too. I think I'm gonna leave the entrance a little bit more open, but I might change my mind in a later stage. But I think it's just gonna look a little bit weird. I, I re really recommend to look at the original building to see what I'm talking about because I have no idea how to explain or how to call that doorway entrance to be completely honest. So yeah, definitely the building is a little bit different because also where like that monorail track I was, I was talking about like is connected to the buildings. There actually should be more windows on one side of the building. So it's actually a little bit wider on the original, uh, but I didn't add that in just because I actually didn't notice it. And I was so far in already with like finishing the building off that I was like, oh, well, I'm not really gonna bother about that too much. Like I'm still trying to use this more as inspiration, even though it looks like a lot of recreation, but definitely not on scale. But I just really, really wanted to have this building into and the habitat and the restaurant are most likely going to be completely different from Rotterdam Zoo. But having these buildings in is just really, really incredible. So it did do a little bit of the inside of the t interiors, but more to have it like not completely empty. So I just used the pillars and stuff a little bit to decorate it a tiny little bit before we really go into the interiors itself. So especially with the restaurant building, this might be completely changed in the end. Uh, but yeah, we will just have to wait and see. But I just wanted to avoid that the inside was completely empty before I uh, finish this episode. So both buildings do have some kind of backstage area. And both areas, well, obviously the restaurant area has probably some kind of kitchen area in the backstage. And for the lions, they have more of some kind of cage private area for the lions where the keepers can like take care of the lions, have them more up close without the guests seeing them, something like that. I obviously have no idea what is exactly at the backstage, but I did saw one or two pictures of it and I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. So we might dive into that and try to do something similar like that 
with like more of a backstage area this time for the lions itself or whatever animal we're going to have but I keep saying lions but who knows we might change to to the cheetah or maybe some other animal I have no idea but yeah that's gonna be very interesting to see how we're going to uh, tackle those backstage areas I'm really looking forward to uh, to work on that for a change but I'm probably not going to do a kitchen or anything for the restaurant. I think that will go a little bit too far for my taste. I do really envy all the people that are really good in interiors and making kitchens, but I'm probably just going to fill the other building with some staff buildings or like a, a staff room and a keeper hut or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going into like a, building a fake kitchen for a restaurant. I'm not going that far, no. <laughs> So as I mentioned, in the middle of the buildings, there's like this big terrace and there is this struggle with the pass system. Like obviously you can't have like this huge area, especially when you have like a lot of angles in the buildings. You can't really use the grid of the path tool to create a big plaza. So in this case, you really have to just try to cover as much as possible, uh, which looks super ugly and super hideous. And then I just tried to hide it a lot with the plaster pieces, but which is totally fine because if you look at this building from Google Maps, it looks exactly like it is covered or anything like that. So I think it is really no big deal. The only issue is that you have to make sure that you can still put down your picnic benches. So that was the only struggle I had. Like I had to make sure that I could put down the picnic benches where I wanted them so I had to redo the path one more time I think before I was able to really put them where I wanted them to be but I think it looks just really really nice with all the plaster pieces and the different color variations you can really tell that this is inspired of the twin buildings of Rotterdam Zoo. I will try to also link the uh, google maps picture what I use also when I stream this on twitch uh, what I use for reference and stuff. So yeah, that's super interesting. If you want to see my Twitch streams, by the way, I stream on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 8 p.m. CEST every week. Uh, and I'm also, I'm always streaming Planet Zoo and later we jump into some other game. Definitely join my live streams because they're just super, super fun, a lot of fun. And if you have any questions with Planet Zoo, I'm happy to show you guys some new things or things you don't really understand. So definitely join my live streams or my Discord server, of course. There are a lot of people in my Discord server that can help you out too if you have any questions or you just want to be part of a lovely community. I really, uh, really am super happy and proud of my uh, amazing community we have on Discord. So yeah, both links, both to Twitch and to Discord, you can find in the description down below, of course. So yeah, I did have a few questions on the Riviera Hall tour video not that many of course because it wasn't really a building video but someone asked like when will city zoo become available on steam well i i'm going to upload it i upload everything once it is finished to steam so yeah it's gonna take a long while probably before we finish this one it's definitely not going as fast as we did with mainland zoo which is also in the workshop uh but no i'm i'm definitely going to upload it to the workshop but it might take some time before everything is finished but it will come there eventually guys and before people ask because i i had that question too with the riviera hall uh, the same with like the buildings. Will the buildings be uploaded to Steam? I am not really planning to upload any buildings to Steam unless my whole zoo is finished. So it's it's kind of the same thing. If I am able to upload anything because a lot of it are with too many pieces. So there comes a lot of issues with that. But if I'm able to, I will definitely upload some of the buildings to, to the workshop once everything is finished. So guys, you have to be patient a little bit, but that's just a little bit how I work. I never really upload anything in between if it is from a certain zoo I'm building on. It's different, of course, if I build something especially for the workshop. But other than that, I just always did this just like I did with Planet Coaster. Uh, when everything is finished, then I will upload things to the workshop. That's just a little bit how I work. And the last question was, when will we see another animal in City Zoo again? Uh, well, yeah, that's a, fair enough, fair enough. We had one episode with the restaurant inside the Riviera Hall. We had the Riviera Hall tour. And now we have another episode without an animal. So yeah, fair enough that you're asking that, but obviously the next episode we're going to add an animal in this twin building or at least on one side of the building 
and whether it's going to be a lion or something else, I really, really want to hear your feedback on this. I am tempted to just move the lions in here, but then we do need another animal for the current lion habitat. So that is also something to think about and uh, tell me in the comments down below if you have any thoughts about that. So yeah, without further talking, please do enjoy the rest of the speed build video. I think it's definitely worth it if you want to learn a little bit more about some more complex buildings. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys at the end of this video to show you guys a little bit around because well, it's not finished yet, as I said. So uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys uh, the plans and stuff. So yeah, see you in a minute.
Okay, so here we have the twin buildings. Obviously, the green you see right now is definitely not what will stay. This is just a little bit to give it a little bit of a feeling that it's like in between something, but this is definitely not the trees that will stay. Uh, so, as I said, this side will be a restaurant, probably. Well, if you look at this terrace, we should really make a restaurant in this building, to be honest. So, on the other side, this should be either a lion habitat, so we're going to move the lions then. Let me show you to give an idea. The lions right now are in this building right over here. Uh, this is actually too small for them, and this was too small in the original building of Rotterdam Zoo, which was this building too. And uh, yeah, in a later stage when the zoo grew and they started to renovate things, they moved the lions to here. Now obviously, this is not only the building for the lion's den. So what should happen is that we're going to build an outdoor habitat right over here. And there will be some kind of platform, a wooden platform right over here where the guests can look into the habitat. And there is going to be a lot of netting, so that will be quite challenging and it's going to be new for me to do netting in this game. But I'm really excited to start doing that. So there will be a lot of netting around the whole habitat. And I think there also is a smaller viewing house or something like that on this side. Uh, so yeah, I, I feel like I should add the lines in here to see how far we can get with this uh, cool inspiration of the twin buildings. So on the inside, this this doorway should be closed, of course. Okay, yeah, as I said, this is not gonna stay. <laughs> so this door will be closed, and then we will have like, I think something like so that will close off the area where the guests can stand. And the rest will be an indoor section for the lions with like a lot of rocks and stuff. Nothing really spectacular like themed or anything, like really realistic. And then they have a somewhere over here an area to go outside in their outdoor habitat. And I think the outdoor habitat is just a little bit lowered into the ground. And then they should have some kind of opening right over here. So we can have like this backstage area, yes, as I said, this is not going to stay. A backstage area uh, right over here with also the keeper door or something like that. And then we have this big terrace right over here. And this is going to be the entrance for the African Safari ride. I'm still debating what I'm going to use here. They have these... Uh, they have a sign with like two giraffes and then one's giraffe like eating food in the middle or something like that. Uh, I'm not really sure. I might change the sign still a little bit. Uh, I'm curious what you guys uh, feel about this sign right over here. But and at least this is going to be the entrance area and uh, queue area for the African safari ride. And then we're going to have like a restaurant building right over here. And as I said, I am not going to build a backstage area here with like a big kitchen or anything. I think we're just going to use this building to add the facility buildings we need for the staff. I, I think that would be the best thing to do. Maybe we can add some toilets inside of this building too for a guest. That could definitely work. Uh, and I, I don't think this building is extended in any other way. So I think only this building has an outdoor section with like netting and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe you guys say like you should use both buildings for animals. That could also be a possibility. I mean, we don't have to stick with everything uh, because we're also going to build our own inspiration. Just like we did with the Riviera Hall. This whole wing is all inspired by myself. And this one is more inspired of Rotterdam Zoo. So so I think it's just cool to have a little bit more variation. And uh, here is also going to be a little bit more green, I think. I wasn't really sure yet what I wanted to do here. Uh, but yeah, I think we're just going to add some more green here. And this is also going to be nice and lush and green, of course, too. But I just added these oak trees to get a little bit of the vibe. But I think this already looks super cool, actually. I really do love already how this is looking and I can't wait. To finish this off, it takes some time, but yeah, I think it's gonna be cool. Also, if you paid attention on the speed build video, you noticed that this was all limestone, and in the end, I covered this with darker plates of the plaster pieces because it, I think in the original building, it's more like darker wood or anything. 
but I wanted to make sure that it indeed wasn't really obvious. If this will be white, it will be too much white. So I think this gray really, really works with like hiding it a little bit away still. So yeah, do let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this part one of the uh, twin buildings. I am really excited about this. Do let me know what you guys think about it. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel a little extra, you may want to consider to become a FayFam member with the link down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys!